Everyone, welcome to season two of the podcast Outlaws. I know all you simpletons missed us, so you're welcome. We're back. I heard you when I was off all this time, and I'm a little pissed off. Went to the dentist's office, had a tooth pulled at 7 a.m., and then one hour later, I'm here on set with the doc. Where the hell were you to help me with my uh, tooth doc? He's going to pull the damn thing out myself and save me the trip. I should have, really. I'm a doctor, as you know. Wow. I, I could barely drink the coffee in this beautiful mug of ours. You know, like, <laughs> geez, how about yours? How's your hot chocolate there, Doc? Mine's doing great. I got to drink the side of my face. This Hopefully, I don't spill it all over let myself. Give me hot chocolate. There's black coffee. I'm not going to even say anything, guys. Anyways, we'll just leave it at that. The, tastes good? Tastes great. You're happy? Delicious. Doc is good? Doc's great. Okay, just in case I need some medication, you can just inject me on the side here. I and, think uh, I might get riled up today. Hey, why not, you know? <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're changing things up a little bit here. We're not going to do the confessionals yeah. and then discuss the million-dollar questions. Mm -hmm. We decided since we're so big now. We're like, exactly. You know, like we're well-known across the now. universe, okay? <laughs> even the gods in Greece know who the hell we are. Exactly. You know, even Wonder Woman and her uh, Amazons and Themyscira, mm -hmm. whatever, they know who the hell the king is. And even mm -hmm. this guy now, apparently he's more popular than the king. I don't understand <laughs> that, you know? And apparently we got to be getting a, someone, somebody a little extra on set too, I guess. Potentially a third member. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm too thrilled about that because I can't really stand this guy. But anyways, <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. But apparently he's going to give me a run for my money. So we decided to split the confessionals. We're going to get its mm -hmm. own show. It's going to be audio only. Yep. Next well, week, Friday, I think it is. Yeah. Tune in for that. Mm -hmm. Season two. Different format. Okay, let's go. Because I'm rambling again, man. Like, maybe the strugs are wearing off on the king. <laughs> okay. Like always, guys, we are here to educate all you yes. morons, simpletons no. at home on YouTube with our knowledge. But we're going to be a little bit more gentle this time, okay? I think so. I hope because so. I think yelling for 25 minutes or 35 minutes off the top of my lungs and yours, mm -hmm. it's not worth it because I'm wasting my time. I can <laughs> yell about other things and educate these fools on YouTube. How are you, Doc? Do you agree? I, I'd have to agree with you on that. Okay. Kid. Anyways, blah, blah, long enough. <laughs> okay. This episode of the podcast Outlaws, season two, we will be discussing. You ready, Doc? I yes. think you might be a little bit more thing. I might let you do more of the talking than me. So if what I'm a little quiet, discussing? lucky you guys. Okay. Best villain to ever appear mm -hmm. in a superhero genre film. Yes. Okay. Great question. So, I want to hear your mm -hmm. runner-up and who the hell are you picking. And then I'll chime in after once I uh, drink some coffee over here. Yes. Go ahead, so, Doc. Getting right into it. The runner-up has to be Thanos for me. Okay. Easily. I think this is probably most people's nowadays number one. But for me, it's my number two. Okay. I think he's great. I think he's the best. It's incredible how the culmination of 20 somewhat odd films... Brought us to this individual and he killed it, nailed it. Mm -hmm. The whole of Infinity War, in my opinion, was brought uh, specifically surrounded around him. Right, He was the main star of that film. It was a Thanos film. It wasn't an Avengers film. Endgame was an Avengers film. Infinity War I agree a Thanos thousand percent film. on that. He nailed it. He's the culmination of all those films that we've been waiting for him for almost a decade to appear on screen after seeing that hint. Mm -hmm. We finally see him in his own movie, and he nails it. He's one of the few villains who genuinely was able to win in the MCU because he, he succeeded in his plan. Very, There's only one other villain that I can remember that actually succeeded, and that was uh, Zemo in uh, Civil War. Yes. So he's the only other villain in the MCU that managed to succeed and who managed to scare, literally scare the shit out of everyone else. And Doc, he outsmarted everybody. Everybody. So he didn't even need superpowers no. of a god to no. do so. He did it. He did Stupid it all before Avengers. he even got the gauntlet. He was beating people. Stupid up. Avengers! If I was on that team, you're not going to fool, fool the king. That place from right Guardians, um, where the Power Stone was, right? Mm. He took it single handedly without any. Um, there you go. Without any stones no, yet. He just picked it up. He he has to be the scariest villain in the whole of the MCU and the smartest and. The best crafted one, specifically because Infinity War, I'd say, is mm -hmm. one of the best, if not the best, MCU film. And that is his film. That is not the Avengers film. I know it's Avengers Infinity War. It is more like Thanos and Avengers Infinity War. I agree. So yeah. what is, Doc, your pick? That being said, 
the best villain for me has to be the Joker from The Dark Knight. Heath Ledger's the Joker. No other actor has embodied a character like this man. I don't care hero. I don't care suit villain. I don't mm-hmm. care anything. He, nobody has... In, you genuinely thought... The cast on set was terrified of this man. He genuinely was the Joker. The king would be scared he, of that guy. I'll that that right man now. was terrifying. And on top of that, the way he brought this character to the big screen, he was the perfect antithesis to the hero. It, mm-hmm. it, it made Batman question himself, question his own morals. He broke him in many ways without even physically having to fight him. How he uh, got... Um, uh, I believe it was Rachel. Yes. Right? Uh, killed. Um, how he turned one of the greatest uh, mm-hmm. um, law enforcers uh, in the country. Uh, Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent. How he turned him from being the, doing everything he could to take down the villains. The person to turning him essentially good to evil. Evil. How he twisted him single-handedly. No Doc. physical, no nothing. See, he Doc, mental. what got me scared. I'm getting goosebumps yeah. thinking it. He burned all that damn money. He didn't even want the money. He, he just lit less. the mob's money. A man who doesn't care about money? No. That's I don't a man know to if fear. I can trust that guy, man. The king a is a little fear, worried. Honestly. I'm getting goosebumps, and I don't get goosebumps for anybody. But exactly. Heath Ledger, Heath Ledger. Joker's as your number one thing. Yeah. He I has agree. to be my favorite. And it's cinematically, any scene that guy was in, you he, remember. Yes. He, he was riveting. He There's a reason why you won an Oscar. And I 100%. don't believe in that bullshit Oscar award system. Correct me if I'm wrong. I believe he is the only uh, actor to win an Oscar to to portray a supervillain. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Other than, uh, of course, Joaquin Phoenix, who went on to win an Oscar for the exact... He really... uh, Whatever. He won the Oscar for exact same character, right? He he won an Oscar for being crazy like the king is every day on the set. But it's only the joke. Where's my Oscar? (laughs) Hey, Doc? I all perform Joaquin. That's all I have to say. Not to every mention. day, and this is not even an act. This is the truth. This isn't just to mention the character of the Joker in general. The fact that not even the Dark Knight, but you can look at the Joker individual film mm-hmm. was great. You look at him in the animated films. Yeah. Yeah, and Mark Hamill playing the voice of the Joker. He's the scariest, in my opinion, animated villain. Any yeah. incarnation of the Joker. Yeah, that's the is creepy exactly. good. That's the character, the villain that they. I, I have to pick. say is the best for me. It's that's a good pick. You know what, Doc? Mm-hmm. I give you credit mm-hmm. to go on a limb and. You know, bypass Thanos. Because yep. me, <laughs> I did what all the simpletons at home did. I went with Thanos, okay? Yes, he's not my number one, but I'll mm. tell you who I bypassed. Because this is high consideration, okay? Mm. Mm. Lord Zod. Yeah. From yeah. Man of Steel. Yeah. If there's anyone that can give you an idea of how evil Superman can be, mm-hmm. or a version of him, yeah. it was him. Zod, for sure. He had to get his na- neck snapped by the Man of Steel in mm-hmm. order to stop him because he was going to destroy the whole damn entire exactly. planet. That's what made me scared of him. And mm-hmm. I think that's what made him a good villain because he had good mm-hmm. intentions back on his home mm-hmm. planet. 100%. He, he was with his father, jor whatever the hell. And he thought he was doing the right thing in his own sick, crazy-ass mind. Mm-hmm. And he paid the price for exactly. it. Exactly. Met someone called uh, Superman and he's not here no longer no. with us. One of the best uh, and most underrated films and uh, villains in my and opinion. I think so too. And well acted. Extremely he brought well. it a thousand percent. Oh, the yeah. other one that kind of gets overlooked, and I'm going to say it very quickly, is mm-hmm. Hela. Yeah. From Thor Ragnarok. Kate Blanchett mm-hmm. brought her acting chops to that. Oh, like, yeah. She was oh, good. Yeah. I wish she was more in the film. If there was a yeah. villain that I wanted more in the film to be more a part of it, mm-hmm. it would be her. She was excellent. I was really hoping we would get... To see her perhaps again sometime soon, you know, mm-hmm. like I was even thinking of hoping in WandaVision, WandaVision maybe yeah. she'll show up and you'll see her on the side just to say, yo bitches, I'm still alive, mm-hmm. right? But those are the two who I kind of bypassed to get to Thanos, yeah. the Mad Titan, mm-hmm. Greek name, means death. <laughs> That's why I picked it. No, I didn't pick him because mm-hmm. he's a badass. <laughs> like you were saying before, Mr. Movie, so we can get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. He did what he said he was going to do. Exactly. I'm going to collect all the stones. I'm going to kick all your asses. And I'm going to wipe out I'm going to wipe uh, half the population. Yeah. And I'm going to win. I and guess what? he succeeded in all of it. He did. And it was the first time I would honestly say in any superhero film mm-hmm. that a bad guy said what he was going to do and he accomplished his goal. Yeah. You know? So there you go. 100%. The king's pick. Thanos, the Mad Titan. Mm-hmm. 
The Doc's pick, Joker. There you go, guys. So it's all up to you, simpletons, now. Vote. Do you side with the Doc or you side with the King? Which, mm -hmm. if you guys had a brain, you know whose side you're going to pick. This guy's. Because if not, I'll get Thanos to snap his fingers and then make all you simpletons disappear. Anyways. <laughs> okay, guys. So that is our very first episode of Season 2 of the Podcast yep. Outlaws. I hope you enjoyed it. Check out our other content that's mm -hmm. going to be dropping starting from this day moving forward mm -hmm. right here on YouTube. YouTube land, a word that I came up with first. I don't care what anybody else wants to use it. This man Clint, came up with it. I came up with it. If anybody has anything else to say, you know where to find the king. Come in the message. No other common people section. or Canadians came up with that word. Only this individual. I tell you. King, king <laughs> is smarter than beyond everybody. The yeah. king makes people, and he can also destroy people. Some might call him a very civil Canadian. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that, guys, okay? That's uh, another day, another battle to fight, you know? Especially when we got these new programmings. People are more than welcome to kind yep. of come and sit at my table exactly. and push it out with the king, which, better watch it. I'll no bite your can. head off. Okay, Doc, let's get the hell out of here. Yep. So, guys, like, share, and subscribe to the podcast Outlaws. Find us on Instagram. Check out our other content. Yep. Check out the movie throne if you're into movies. Go see that lighter side of the king, which mm -hmm. I wouldn't recommend. Stay here because, you know, we're the badasses. This is the better the version of the king. This is the real version of the king. So until next time, be the hell good. Stay off my throne. Leave the doc mm -hmm. alone because he'll be coming for you. Damn right. Take it easy. Bye, guys. We're out of here.